Welcome everybody to episode 282 of House and Garden Flipper. Today we're having our continuing our little detour away from our house, away from our man cave. We're doing a turtle house house flip. I have no idea what to do with this house to be honest. Um, yeah, we'll ignore Veronica Lipstein's odd view of children. I am trying to work out what to do. I mean, this place we could we could do an amazing amount with maybe just a um. You know what? I really want to do an American garden for this house, and I'm thinking. I'm thinking we could cause we have evergreen bushes. I mean, we have rocks. We could also do a modern garden. Keep it pretty minimalistic. I mean that would work, you could have your chill out zones outside. At the moment you've got, um, you know, you've got a little bit of a space for a, a pool that doesn't necessarily have wildlife in it, jellyfish, sharks, you know, the passing saltwater croc, um, not that there would be any here, but you know, you never know your, uh, your lack of luck in a big city. So I mean we could, we could do an American garden. We could do a modern garden with all our rocks and stones in bits. We could also do a Japanese garden using the rocks as a, a natural landscape and, uh, and so on. I'm actually thinking I would kind of like to do a, um, a thing. Man, it's pink. I'm wondering if I could panel this with whiteboards. You know, so kind of those rather than pink boards. Because if I paint it, I'm going to lose the wooden texture. But if I put in, um, yeah, except see now I'm being fussy because I want to put in horizontal. So outside panels, but thick, like that. So I mean. <clears throat> So we could, hopefully this does what I want it to, I'll be upset if it doesn't, but let's, let's just grab this. I know we're, we're banning pink. See, it's not quite the same. I don't know. She says doing more. If we were doing an English garden, we would make, um, we would make it a brick kind of thing. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's do this white, and we'll just see what happens. I still haven't really decided who I want to sell it to. So, because I'm I'm lost, I should probably go downstairs and try putting a desk next to that bed. And if maybe we make it a single bed, that would work. And just see if we can get the student interested. He's he's still lurking at the bottom of the um the bottom of the thing. Okay, we're going to have to get some scaffolding. Uh, if I recall, it now has its own special little thing section. Huh. Alrighty. That was easier than I suppose it should have been. Let's just grab this little toddler out the back. Because, yep, yeah, we got another section of that out the back, so we'll, uh, we'll work our way around to it. I was, I was actually hoping for panels as wide as those pink panels, but that's uh, it's not going to work. Alrighty, enough whining, more working. Here we go. Need a few of these. Shouldn't take us too long though. Oops, no, wrong thing. Alright, let's uh let's pop 
bees just at the end here so it's less distance to carry them. Oops, that, that is probably going to need to be painted again on the inside. I think I just tiled the inside of the thing. Let's back it up. Alright, no, that's that's good. Yeah, so I'm thinking I'm thinking an American garden. We're going to put a pool in and maybe a comfortable area, uh, like a sitting area or a hammock somewhere. Like a hammock would be really cool just there. And uh, and we'll just you know make it simple. We probably won't get a lot of points for it, but we'll we'll do something that maybe someone who lived here would enjoy. I wonder if this would qualify, if moving to this house would qualify you for the house by the sea, sea the, the sea change achievement. I can't test it because I already have it, so. It'd be interesting, it should, I mean, do you know, sea. The only problem with putting a pool in is unless you had a cover for it, the minute you got a big tropical storm in here, you'd have you have to pump out your pool. <clears throat> and a tsunami would just wash you away. You'd be gone. That's not a very cheerful thought. And there I go, making more work for myself inside. That's okay. Alrighty, so that is our exterior. Uh, we would like to have maybe a hammock. I wonder if we can get a hammock and just hang that here. Let's see if we've got one. Drellod or Melod. See, they, they've already got little stands. That's a bit sad. Yeah, so we don't hang it between the trees. All right, fine. In that case, I'm going to lay down my pool. Who wants to walk all the way around the back to get to their pool? I mean, why can't we just have one, a little one right here? Let's see if they've got a small pool. I don't know. So, recreation. Oh, we should have an outdoor gym and a wooden swing to just enjoy the view. Yeah, that'd be fun. All right, I know. Um, decorations. Water decorations. Pond. No, that's not what we're after. All right, I've lost where we put pools. They're in structures. Okay. All right, so we've got a couple of pools here just go to pools so we're not sorting through everything. I'm after a small one but I don't think I'm in luck. I think they're all kind of they're all kind of big. Alright. Well no it's concrete slabs. Paving stones. That looks kind of pretty, very complex. Um I don't think it's going to fit, what do you reckon? 
I don't think they're saying no, no pool for you. That's exactly what they're saying. Rude. Yeah, it does not fit. I know. Can I stick it in the ocean? Can I fl No. Okay, the pool is not a boat. Stop treating it like one. Alright. Oh no, there we go. We can fit the pool in without moving any rocks if we tuck it right here. See, for a minute I was going to stop. Wait, come back. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like we are definitely having our pool right here. We are going to grab our paving stones, uh, slabs, and it's paving stone block. So we're just going to grab our hundred by hundreds. Pretty sure we use the beige. Yeah, let's give it a sandy border. And we might just tuck that about there. We're not going to go all the way around the pool like we would normally. Just going to... Alright, we might just do this. And we might use gravel to hide a multitude of sins. I actually wanted to have it a little bit further out. But that's really not going to happen. So, let's just pop in our paving stones. You can run around on them in your bare feet. But if you're smart, you'll probably stick to the grass. Otherwise, you'll roast your bare feet and then you'll be upset. Alright. Ooh, that was unexpected. Alright, let's just put these straight over the top of those, if we can. I'm just going to see if I sell this and I sell this. Can I can I grab this and tuck it nicely? Yes. Alrighty. And then can I, if possible, put that? See, it's not going to sit over that pole. Oh, yeah, it is now. There we go. There we go. Okay. No, I can I can do it that way. That'll look a bit better. Okay. No need to frown. We have it all upside down. Except for that pull, it's going to make our life awkward. I'll just come at it from this angle. Okay, so we'll just mirror mirror that onto this side. Look, now you've got a choice. You can go in either direction. My mistake. We'll just alter our design a little bit. And we'll use our paving slabs like stepping stones. Or we'll grab this bush. Okay, no, we can't do that. No, 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 you know what? We'll zap that. This, this is our little swing nook. So we'll put our wooden swing in here. If we can, let's just see if we can do it. So... Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to zap this bush and that paving stone. And we're going to try again. Okay, we're going to grab this rock and toss it over here. And we're going to try again. Haha. Uh -huh. Alright, I think we just need to give our, our swingers a little bit more room. 
we'll just move these over. We'll try and keep the same formation that they had. Maybe shovel that one a bit closer to the shore. It won't let me. Okay, fine. pedantic about where it wants to go isn't it alrighty well fine let us construct I haven't constructed one of these before this is kind of fun puzzle time So I think you've got a little bit of room for swinging at the back, yeah. And what we might do is we might just grab these paving stones and let them guide you this way. I'm going to zap this bush as well and we'll add, we'll add another bush in shortly. Um, let's just grab this beige sand and we'll just pop that over to there. All right, so now you've got your front section and your side section and your pull section. I think I might just grab this big rock and pop it here. Yep, yeah. and then what we'll do is we'll drop our pavers. got like stepping stones but made of pavements. There we go. And there we go. So that's that's that bit. Now I guess I guess one of the things they look for in an American garden is a barbecue area. So I'm I'm thinking you'd probably want a bit of a dining area here. So we'll just keep it really simple. It's ridiculous, you're paving over some of the only growing ground that you've got. Oh, whoops. Okay. And then maybe what you would do next is grab yourself an umbrella. Uh, like this, a table numa. And about blue let's, let's make it green with the oak so it matches the swing Look about here and then we'll grab some numa chairs with the green and we'll run um, I don't think anyone's going to want to sit with their back to that view. So we'll just see if we can uh, move them a little bit around the... Alrighty. There's no tall glasses. You should have tall glasses with, you know, straws or umbrellas or something in them. That'd be cool. So I think that's all we're going to put there. There's our... 
Oh, no, no, you know what else we can do? We might, we might put a barbecue area. I don't know. might do is put a small barbecue area. I wonder if I can put an umbrella here. So we're going to go find an umbrella. Uh, sort of like this with the green. I really want the green to match the other green. Does that make any sense? And then what we'll do is we'll put um, grab a grill. So this is this is our little outdoor area. Um, I couldn't fit the pool out the front, so we've got the pool out the back, which means I need to put in some lounges, doesn't it? Because we need a like a lounge chair area. So we might stick a couple of hammocks out here, and I'm going to have to go inside because I'm losing the light. But that's okay. We'll do that in tick as well. I know, this would definitely not be passable as an uninhabited island, would it? You, you just would not get away with it. So we'll back it up and we'll pop these in. And maybe, maybe actually extend that up to about here. Okay, I know why it doesn't look right. We're going to hide that behind plants. That'll be fine. Let us grab ourselves a hammock. So the other thing we're going to probably look at is... Um, let's grab that. Let me pivot it, why not? I think the rock is in the way. Okay, something not quite right. I think there's I think maybe there's just a big collision zone on that. Someone's gonna take an eye out if I put it that way. Let's um let's just pop that there. And and we might I don't like it there. Can you tell? Oh dear. I know the rocks may have to move. That's it's that bush again. All right, I'm gonna put the lounger there gonna get rid of this one. We're gonna grab a sun lounge. Sun. Oh, I'm not so sure about this. I, I'd like green. <laughs> I know I'll stop being sulky now. We could just Okay, now do the do the black over the red and have a dark no, what are you doing? 
That would get hot, wouldn't it? Let's do that. And we might give them a table. It's a couch to do too. We're just going to give them one of those little table things like this. With black base. And we'll just settle that. Here they put a book or a drink or something. And I think I think that's our very simple outdoor area. We'll pop some plants in next session and we'll put some lights in. Maybe some bug zappers. Um I think that's probably going to be it for the outside for the moment. It's not a really complex thing. I love the glow on those. They're like a they're like a furnace or something. Okay, now here is my here is my horrible kitchen that I don't like. So we are going to zap. Up. There we go. Keep that. We're going to zap all the things. Oops. What do you mean no separate kitchen there wasn't a separate kitchen to start with guys what are you whining about alrighty we are gonna grab this thing uh, pop it over here because I forgot to get the note down and we might stick the note right here by the door so that you don't miss it on the way out I, I know I like the note okay so we have our fridge in the corner we're gonna put the tiniest little kitchen in here uh, I've decided we're going to have furniture and kitchen. All right, there's, there's, there's a lot worse you could do than being able to do the dishes looking out at the ocean. See, I don't know if I prefer that. It blends right in with the wall. So I don't know if I if I prefer this or if I prefer it with the slightly brighter green. Okay now. I think I prefer it with the lighter green just to blend. Actually no I don't. Let's let's do let's do I don't know. There should be white in here somewhere. Okay. It, it looks a bit more grey, but let's let's try. Okay, no, that was a that was a fail. Alright, no, I think I think we may we're either gonna have to go timber, full on timber, or we're just gonna have to go back to a grassy thing of a Watson's. Uh, with the light and the white and the white and the white and the white now. Alright, let's just do that. Yeah, I'm not sure I like it either. That's okay, let's let's put it in and just see what we can live with. Uh, let's grab ourselves a Gustam pastel of an thing with all the light accoutrements and oh, it's light we might actually oh we can't go for a white draw Dull. we can't go for a white base either okay fine it's gonna look a little odd but we'll pop it I'm just thinking we could do a, a corner I think it's a right corner cabinet so green 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 light and buy one of those and just flip it and just put it there all right then what we'll do is grab a narrow cupboard so because uh, Gustav has this skinny little narrow cupboard thing we can use. So there it is. So we could do that. Pivot it. Put it in here. 
grab this thing. Put that there. We might put a normal cupboard there and then what we'll do is we just grab our fridge and bring it there. Grab our oven because we can cook looking out at the ocean too. That's not going to be too much of a disaster surely. I, I know, I know what I'm like when I'm distracted but anyway Oh, look at that boat out there. Sizzle, sizzle burn. Is my kitchen on fire? Yeah. I'm not really that much of a disaster, but you know, there's always a possibility. All right. Okay. And then, then what we might do, just, just to set the kitchen off from everything else, is we'll see if we've got a... Um, what do they call those things? Those little overhanging things? Peninsula. But I need a right corner cupboard to the peninsula. Okay, I live in hope but it hasn't paid off. Fine, so we will grab a one of these. Yes, with one of these, and we'll add one of these in. Pivot that. And then we're going to put a peninsula in if we can. So we'll zoopity doop back up. That's a dishwasher. Do we need a dishwasher? We're not, well, I don't know, given how many dishes these guys created last time. Let's, let's just in case they're not so good with the dishes, put the dishwasher in. It can go next to the sink, that makes an awful amount of sense to me. I know, maybe I should get rid of that wall. I mean, it doesn't really serve a purpose, does it, except to drive me crazy. Yes, let's, let's kill the wall. I know, you thought I'd get through a whole session without actually breaking it. You were so wrong. Excellent. <laughs> we can actually grab a, um, I don't know, a, maybe we can either leave it open like it is, because I mean, I'm going to have to paint anyway, as you can see, I've managed to, managed to put the wrong sort of <laughs> covering up there. Um, so we can either do that, or we can grab one of these these handy dandy corner cupboard things. And I think I need one going the other way. There we go. So we, we grab this handy dandy corner kitchen cupboard thing. And we can sit it here. And that gives us kind of... And we, we might add one more. Okay, let's have a look at this peninsula and see what see what that's like. I don't know if I like it. I mean, there's there's a part of me that hates it already, but I've never tried it, so that could be it. I, I mean, I don't even know how it's meant to go. I'm just going to have, have a guess. Let's see how that goes. Oh, okay, hang on. Left cupboard to the peninsula. Okay, I think I understand it. So there should be a right cupboard to the peninsula. Yes. All right, let's try this thing. Because the peninsula has this sticky outy thing that you can sit and eat at. So technically, we should be able to have that little sticky outy thing hang up about there. And you know what else? We could put another one over here. So let's let's do that. Weird is all. Wait, I've got it around the wrong way. Well, that's just bound to make it look weirder. There we go. And then I guess, I guess we grab this thing of me. What's it? And do the thing. Flip that. Put that about there. All right, grab one of these chairs. Now they're not so crowded. So we have a living room with a kitchenette. I still don't like the lounge chairs. Alright, 
So now we have a living room with kitchenette. We have got no plants on the window sills. What is wrong with this? And we need to paint that wall. So, walls, paint. And it was spring grass. Just sit that up there because we won't drip paint on the bench. It's fine. See, I thought I made the same mistake over here, but I clearly I didn't. Let's fix that. There we are. All right, so now we have this quiet, calm little lake of green in here. And I still haven't worked out how to get rid of Dolan Trusk. Putting a lot of green in didn't work. <sighs> I know, I'm just a sad bunny. I'm actually thinking if I can't make the cupboards green, I might make them make them white. We'll just see how they look. I know, everyone's whining. You got rid of our cupboards, you evil, evil banana. I know. I'm sorry, guys. Kind of. Alright, we need a corner cupboard. A custom corner cupboard, so let's do that. Furniture. Kitchen. Custom corner cupboard. Glaze. Pastel. Green. Light. Uh, what are you doing? Thank you. So I guess with the corner cupboard, we can give these guys and gals a little bit more hanging space. This one says narrow, but it says wooden. Let's try, let's try narrow pastel and match it in. Matchy matchy, let's go. Oh, really? It's not that narrow, is it? When you think about it. Can I have a super narrow half that size cupboard? So you want one that's like exactly half. It's not going to let me get away with it, is it? No, no, it's not. All right, so that's supposed to be narrow and it's not that narrow. Let's see if we can find something that looks like it'll kind of blend in with it though. Uh, there's bound to be a different, see this is a Culina, but it does have grassy, although that grassy is a bit more aggressive than I'd like. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's also not narrow and it's way too tall. I, I may be on a fool's errand, but we, you never know until you've actually tried. So, oh, yeah, okay, I'm on a fool's errand. Let's have a look at these things. Nope, they don't go. All right, so it looks like we're, we're going to have just a corner cabinet in there. That's just going to have to be the way that is. And... Um, Maybe here we can have, have a narrow custom. I know that was sheer lazy. That's okay. You can forgive me, I'm sure. Okay. Alrighty, so all of that is done. This when it opens, opens up to there, and then it closes. I'm very tempted to put a bookcase or something in here, but then life would get interesting for the person underneath. Okay. Let's have a look at our blinds again and see if we can live with the effect of a light colored grassy blind. All right, I might as well put them in on mass because that way we can get the mass effect of it. That was not meant to be a joke. All right, I don't need the mass effect. I know, to sell them I have to assemble them first. I, I, I burnt myself that time. Let's try again. Oops. Okay. I don't like those. Let's try bright. I know, we'll, we'll be cautious this time. We'll only put one in. No. Oh, come on. I'm sure I had a match in here somewhere. I mean, we could just go dark and completely contrast the light out of it. But I don't think... Yeah, see, that does not work. 
okay. And then you have the patterns. I mean, heaven help us, right? Okay, so it looks like we're not going to use roller blinds in this build. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll just grab our white wood and our white fittings and we'll just... We cannot possibly go wrong with this. Maybe. Okay, let's try that trick again. I see this is what happens when you try and get farms this month, see? It just does not work. There we go. And again. Okay. Alright, that's... That's okay. It's a good start on the kitchen. Um, apart from the big paint can sitting in the middle. Alright. So you see how we've got young uh, Jimmy Trader up there? The man who says he likes red walls and he's in a house of green walls. And I have this feeling that Mr. Trader might be colorblind, but I'm not telling him that. Um, we are going to go and grab ourselves some plants. You never know, he might like spices. We won't put too many in just in case he hates them. Um, Just some herbs. Either he cooks or he has someone who cooks for him. We might leave them as white, I think. Just pop that up there, pivot it, add that in. Put a different set of plants over here. So as well as um, providing him with some culinary options, what we're doing is we're also increasing the price for some of our other buyers. All right, so that's, that's a couple of plants. Uh, okay, the other thing we don't have in here is a stove top, so I'm thinking we should probably have maybe an induction hob, and we'll pop this up on top. Uh, I did go and sell someone's kettle, didn't I? And I need to put in some power points. So let's um, let us grab our, an appropriate, hopefully, power point. We might um, we might put one over there, put one over here. We'll definitely put one up here, and I might stick one in the corner just in case someone decides to use something over there. Alrighty, so over here we're going to put a, um, a kettle. So we go into the kitchen. Now I can't remember if the electric kettle is in this section. There it is. Okay, I won't do that to them. I'll, I'll leave a nice, normal metal kettle. There we go. And over here, I mean, they're double power points. We might as well make the most of it. So we'll grab a, um, a microwave, which is in electronic equipment. But this particular microwave is in the entertainment section for some reason known only to itself. So we'll pop that over there. I think over in this corner, we might put our coffee maker and a, um, there we are, grab that, and toaster. So we just tuck that there and we'll grab our toaster. I know I'm being really lazy and just using the search function. There is only, ooh, what is that? Yeah, there is only one toaster. Man, I thought it was a fancy lift the side, here it is toaster, but no, it's just the grubby little Tenera. We'll just flip that around. Okay, so there's your coffee, there's your toast, there's your tea, there's your... Yep, we're all good. Um, what else do we need in this kitchen? Probably some cooking utensils. Uh, which I probably shouldn't encourage you to reach across the stove to use. So, let's head into kitchens. Accessories. We might just have a small... Maybe we should just use the kitchen utensil swinger thing in the silver because the green is ghastly and we might just pop those next to the microwave there we go uh, so that's all good and over here we might put a dish drainer what do you guys call these things drying rack there you go 
all right so if you you know if you just want to have a couple of cups or something at least you've got that you've got plenty of storage in underneath uh, what else have we got you know you probably need a hand towel in here as well actually I think that's probably under bathroom accessories it's like this little hand towel thing Maybe it is in kitchen, I just zipped past it. You know, I've done all of this area and the one thing we haven't got is anywhere to actually eat inside. Let's make it green. Let's hang it on the wall there, there we go. All right, so we have kettles, cooking utensils, microwaves. I'm thinking this kitchen's pretty done. Yeah, it's not complex, but it'll do, it's functional. We'll just get this thing out of the way it over there for a minute all right so on this side I'm going to leave you we've done the outside we've got um, some pavers down and a pool down and some relaxation areas we'll put some plants in next episode hopefully finish that area with a little bit of lighting and some plants uh, we'll finish off the lounge room and that there may be some of the two the other two little rooms upstairs and uh, if I don't manage to attract the student I don't think I will then we'll have um, we will put in a sauna and I think I might use that little alcove as a tiny 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 sauna but we'll see how we go but on that note I'm going to leave you if you enjoyed this episode please hit like if you want to see more please hit subscribe and I'll check you later